Did you know that Armand Mondo Duplantis, one of the greatest pole vaulters of all time, was born and raised in Louisiana? Yet he's breaking world records while competing for Sweden? It's a move that's puzzled sports fans around the globe, especially when you consider his deep American roots and the fact that he could have easily represented Team USA. So what made Mondo trade the stars and stripes for the yellow and blue of Sweden? The answer lies in a fascinating mix of heritage, strategic choices, and the influence of a key figure who changed the course of his career. Curious to know more? Let's get into it. Armand Mondo Duplantis is a name that resonates with sports fans around the world, especially those who follow track and field. Born in Lafayette, Louisiana, Mondo's roots are as unique as his pole vaulting abilities. His father, Greg Duplantis, was a former pole vaulter, and his mother, Helena Hedlund, was a Swedish heptathlete. From the start, Mondo was surrounded by a family that lived and breathed athletics. Growing up with such a strong athletic lineage, it was almost inevitable that Mondo would follow in their footsteps. But his journey was not just shaped by his parents' athleticism, it was deeply influenced by his dual heritage. Mondo's connection to Sweden runs as deep as his love for the sport. With a Swedish mother and an American father, Mondo was granted dual citizenship, giving him the opportunity to represent either country on the world stage. However, what makes his story fascinating is how he navigated growing up in an environment that blended both American and Swedish cultures. Despite being raised in an English-speaking household in the heart of Louisiana, Mondo was also exposed to the Swedish side of his heritage. His mother, Helena, made sure that Sweden was a part of his life, not just in terms of cultural traditions, but also by ensuring he stayed connected to his Swedish roots. One of the most interesting aspects of Mondo's upbringing is his fluency in Swedish. Even though English was the dominant language in his household, Mondo took the time to learn Swedish, which allowed him to connect more deeply with his Swedish identity. This duality of being comfortable in both languages and cultures gave Mondo a unique perspective and undoubtedly played a role in his eventual decision to compete for Sweden. It's a rare thing to see an athlete who can so effortlessly bridge two different worlds, and Mondo does it with a grace that mirrors his athletic prowess. When we talk about Mondo Duplantis's decision to compete for Sweden, one name that stands out is Jonas Anshelm. Anshelm was Mondo's youth coach in Sweden, and his influence on Mondo's career is hard to overstate. While Mondo had the option to compete for the United States, it was Anshelm who played a pivotal role in steering him towards representing Sweden. As a coach who recognized Mondo's potential early on, Anshelm was determined to bring him into the Swedish fold. Anshelm's approach to persuading Mondo and his family was both strategic and thoughtful. He knew that competing for Sweden would offer Mondo certain advantages that might not be available in the US. One of the key points that Anshelm emphasized was the fewer age restrictions in Sweden, which would allow Mondo to advance his pole vaulting career at a younger age. But perhaps the most compelling argument was the opportunity for Mondo's father, Greg Duplantis, to coach him on the Swedish national team, something that wasn't possible with Team USA due to their stricter regulations. This offer not only appealed to Mondo's sense of family, but also provided a professional advantage that would be hard to ignore. When Mondo Duplantis decided to represent Sweden in international competitions, it wasn't just a matter of embracing his Swedish roots. It was a calculated decision that would set the stage for a career unlike any other in the world of pole vaulting. Sweden's sports system offered Mondo opportunities that were uniquely suited to his needs as an athlete, who was already showing extraordinary potential from a young age. One of the most significant advantages was the ability to advance his pole vaulting career at a much younger age compared to what might have been possible in the United States. In Sweden, the rules and regulations surrounding sports are designed to nurture young talent, allowing athletes like Mondo to compete at the highest levels 
without the age restrictions that can sometimes hold back young prodigies in other countries. This flexibility meant that Mondo didn't have to wait for his moment. He could seize it as soon as he was ready. And he was more than ready. Competing for Sweden allowed Mondo to bypass some of the red tape and limitations that could have slowed his progress in the US sports system, where the focus is often on rigorous Olympic trials and a more rigid path to international competition. Moreover, Sweden's approach to coaching and athlete development is tailored to maximize the potential of each individual. For Mondo, this meant that his father, Greg Duplantis, could continue to play a central role in his training and development. In the United States, coaching regulations are stricter, particularly when it comes to family members. The US Olympic system often separates personal coaching from national team coaching, which might have forced Mondo to choose between his father's guidance and competing for his country. In Sweden, however, Greg was not only allowed but encouraged to coach Mondo as part of the national team setup. This continuity was crucial for Mondo, as his father's coaching had been a cornerstone of his development from a young age. Choosing Sweden also provided Mondo with a supportive environment that was less about cutthroat competition and more about fostering excellence. The Swedish national team focused on building a career for Mondo that would be sustainable and successful in the long run. In contrast, the US system's reliance on Olympic trials creates a scenario where only the best on a particular day make it to the games, potentially leaving behind those who may have greater long-term potential but failed to peak at the right time. This difference in approach allowed Mondo to focus on honing his skills and breaking records rather than simply qualifying for the next big event. Mondo Duplantis has rewritten the history of pole vaulting, and he's done it in a way that has left fans and competitors alike in awe. Since he began competing for Sweden, Mondo has shattered the world record an astonishing nine times, a feat that places him in a league of his own. His ability to continuously push the boundaries of what's possible in pole vaulting is a testament to both his physical abilities and his mental toughness. Let's take a closer look at his record-breaking journey. Mondo first made headlines in February 2020 when he broke the world record by clearing 6.17 meters, setting a new standard for the sport. But he didn't stop there. Just days later, he surpassed his own record with a jump of 6.18 meters. This was just the beginning of what would become a streak of record-breaking performances. Each time Mondo competed, it seemed like he was reaching new heights, literally. By the time 2024 rolled around, Mondo had already established himself as the undisputed king of pole vaulting. His most recent achievement at the 2024 Paris Olympics was nothing short of extraordinary. With the world watching, Mondo cleared an unbelievable 6.25 meters, breaking his previous record of 6.24 meters set earlier that year at the Xiamen Diamond League in China. This wasn't just another record, it was a statement. Mondo wasn't just competing, he was dominating. The Paris Olympics provided the perfect stage for Mondo to showcase his talents, and he delivered in spectacular fashion, defending his Olympic title from Tokyo 2020, and once again proving that he is the best in the world. But Mondo's success isn't just about numbers and records. It's about the pride he brings to Sweden, a country that has embraced him as their own. In Sweden, Mondo is more than just an athlete. He's a national icon. Every time he steps onto the track, he carries the hopes of a nation with him. His achievements have brought unparalleled attention to Swedish athletics, and he's become a symbol of what can be achieved with the right support and determination. Swedes everywhere celebrate Mondo's victories as their own, and for good reason. His success is a reflection of the country's commitment to nurturing talent and creating an environment where athletes can thrive. Mondo's record-breaking streak isn't just about personal glory. It's a testament to the strength and support of the Swedish sports system. He has become a source of national pride, inspiring the next generation of athletes in Sweden and proving that with the right environment, anything is possible. So, what are your thoughts on this? Let us know in the comments below.